Today I am in my bathroom fixing to head out with our group of ladies to go shopping and I'll take you guys along. This time we're going to a completely different location that we've never been to altogether. So I'm going to take you in some of the antique stores and some of the thrift stores and we're going to try to hit a couple of estate sales. So come along with us. And this is the weather that we're going to go out in. You're not getting them? They're five, $5. Mm. Kate, why are the gravy boats connected sometimes? Um, I don't know. Mm. Be I don't know. I, I, I searched and searched, but I needed a big gra gravy boat. Yeah, the shortness. Yeah, kind of more. I see. Right in spite. Yeah. That one has like a thing. I'll get this one. Oh, I thought you were. Oh. oh. This is candy. I seen that earlier. Mm -hmm. I want it. I have one. I know, and the pot itself is gorgeous. <laughs> It's almost like you could frame the pictures if you were into. Yes. Oh my word. Hey, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am bringing you another Mom's Day Out uh, ladies shopping trip. And this time we went to a more local and it was a lot of fun. And it was more diverse. So we were able to hit uh, estate sales, thrift stores, and antique stores. So we had a lot of fun. We got coffee and we ate a lot. Oh my goodness. I myself, I don't know about the rest of the ladies, but I myself ate and ate and ate. It was ridiculous, but it was, uh, it was fun. And let's get started with the estate sales. My older sister, Sarah, did not want to hit an estate sale before we met the other ladies. So my younger sister and I, Tara, stopped at an estate sale that was basically on the way to my friend's house. And I did come home with a very unique item. And I'm going to show that to you guys. So look at this. Okay, if this was out in their garage area, so like more like man stuff, like I'm just gonna make it up like tools and stuff like that. But look at this, it's, it's on wood and it's got like the nail and someone has used this to wrap rope around and the rope even has like a bleached old look. So, Yes. Oops. This, I'm hoping, Lord willing, is going to go into my upcoming project that we are working on. We're dead smack in the middle of getting that project done, and I'm hoping to get that out on video. So, look at this. I don't know what you would call this, like a, a rope holder or something. So, side note, we went to a very expensive antique store later on that day, and... They had something similar to this. It was a wooden thing with rope on it at this very expensive uh, antique store. And I got this for $6. 
So yeah, not sure where this is gonna go, but this little rope thing, this is still dirty. I have been so busy. It was our 18th wedding anniversary right after that. And right after that was also a wedding to attend. So I came home, put all my stuff that I was going to thrift haul into this other item that I'm going to show you guys. Not just yet. Anyhow, this has not been washed, but look at this farmhouse basin. Okay. This was $4. And it's not real deep, not real big, which is, which is good for me. Pretty white color with just like a hint of black and it's uh, tin or aluminum. So just look at that pop of farmhouse um, cottage. And then I could actually really use this when I need to wash something out. But isn't this cute? $4. Yeah, and it's nice size, but not too big for this farmhouse wash basin. I'm not sure if this was from, I think this was from the same estate sale. So this was $3. Um, let's see, it's got some paper on the back. Maybe I should leave that on there. Williams Adams potters established 1657 i'm going to take this hanger off that's one of the reasons why i went ahead and purchased this because it was like it was ready to go okay london seems real oh my goodness real english ironstone okay established 1657 made in england and this particular scene is called horse guards and this is, this is very small, okay? So small and it can just hide or tuck in to so many places. And the nice blue color and it came, I should keep this paper, huh? Let's see. I think this is given a little bit of history on this. Anyhow, it came with this paper and this is what sold me on the product is it's ready to hang with this little hanger. So my little real English ironstone find for $3. Okay, again, this was from, we went to two or three estate sales. I'm not sure. This was from the estate sales. Look at this wooden spoon. He is nice size, rather large. He's beautiful, and I think it was $1 for this wooden spoon. I mean, imagine this as a prop in my decor. This is beautiful. Yeah, and I've got kids out there. They've got a Monopoly game. School's over, so you're going to hear some noises. Anyhow, a dollar. Beautiful wooden spoon. Okay. Then I got, and again, this was out in their, in the garage section at the other estate sale. Oh my word, this says Master Duster on it. Look at that. And look at the, like the engraving of the wood, the indention. And I think this was a dollar also. Beautiful bristles. That color is classic and beautiful. Okay, so my thought with this and I've got another brush I'd like to get some more is I have a crock um I'm sorry a canister that goes to my false graph set that the lid broke so I thought that would be pretty to prop in that canister brushes okay so my little brush for a dollar got just two of these little courier knives uh teacups and I believe these were a dollar Let's see, a dollar a piece, okay? And I mean, just a classic scene of the woman riding in the carriage with the horses at a very fast pace, it looks like. You think they would have put that scene as like, like slow looking horses, huh? No, it looks like the horses are going fast. Anyhow, so two of those, look at those, $2 for Vintage China, a um, 
what is that called? Like a sieve um, spoon? Yeah. And this was probably around a dollar as well. So, and you should feel the quality of this. And then I'm going to move on to a, one of the antique stores that we went to. You guys, I don't feel like lifting up the whole thing. So I'm going to show you a clip of it right here. I got this butter churn uh, crock for $40 or $45. I can't remember. The price was amazing. And I had wanted to find something that would pop in my new project. Okay. And look at this crock. It's beautiful. It has this number four stamped on the front. And yeah, it's a better turn and it's got gray tones and blue tones and a cream look. It's beautiful and it was worth $45. I feel like this was such a find that I got. So very happy with this. And I'll show you the little, is this called the dash, right? The butter dash up close. I mean, that intrigues me to think like, yeah. Anyhow, they made real butter with this. Look at that. So now I own a butter churn and I even thought it would be fun to get some heavy cream and it could be a, a homeschool project to make butter, but I'm not sure how much cream I would need for this crock. <sighs> Moving on to one of my biggest purchases of the day and you guys are going to be surprised when I tell you what I spent on this because it's, it's out of character for me. In fact, I still look at it and think that it was too much money, but it's done now and it's beautiful. Okay. I got this basket at that, uh, antique store and I paid a hundred, like around a hundred and then nine dollars for it. I know that's a lot. And, but I am, it was a splurge for this new project that I'm doing and it's in fabulous, beautiful condition. And in fact, that's kind of one of the things I'm not used to is this great of condition on something like this. So I have this basket now and this is going to go in the new project. And yeah, this was from that nice and uh, antique store. Okay, that is my thrift haul for you guys on our ladies day out. And it was a very blessed day to be able to be with friends and my sisters. So thank you guys for being here for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this haul and please stay tuned for this upcoming project it is in the works. Like we are actually working on it now. So thank you for being here and thank you for being here as I create Cottage Diaries.